Tonight, we're keeping you safe with a warning for this wildfire season. Prepare, prepare, and prepare some more. Thanks for joining us. I'm Mark Curtis. And I'm Tramai in for Caribe. There have been nearly 25,000 wildfires across the U.S. so far this year, more than any previous year in the last decade. And as the Earth's climate gets hotter and drier, understanding which communities are most at risk for wildfires can mean the difference between buying a house or even moving to a new city. A new tool now breaks down who is in the most danger and why. Joe Dana shows us the hot zones in Arizona. This is a really big deal. For the first time, a national wildfire risk model that zeroes in all the way to your individual property is available to the public. It's one of those things you may not want to know, but it's a reality we are forced to deal with. Now 100, over 141 million properties in the U.S. Uh, um, are now able to understand their fire risk. A nonprofit catastrophe modeling firm is making available wildfire risk to the average property owner anywhere in the country using high precision technology that considers climate change trends, home structure, topography, and more, a fire risk calculator breaks it all down. It also shows the chance of flooding. But whether you're talking to an individual property owner, a fire manager, a community leader, we would just say use this data. For example, type in an address at the website riskfactor.com. Then see the percentage chance of your property being touched by wildfire or wildfire embers over the next 30 years. A scale of 1 to 10 shows how vulnerable your house is. A broader report shows the risk factor for your community. According to the risk calculator, over the next 30 years, Maricopa County has more than 700,000 properties with significant or meaningful wildfire risk. The county is second only to Riverside, California, in sheer numbers of homes in danger. Judging by percentage of properties at risk, a map of Arizona shows most counties have major to extreme ratings. Yavapai County, one of the worst. It's not a surprise at all. Rick Chase is fire marshal with the Central Arizona Fire Medical Authority. I'm going to put in my address just for kicks and see what comes up. Six out of a 10 for the fire factor. A little less than a 10% chance of being in a wildfire over the next 30 years. Yeah, I mean, overall, it sounds like it can be a helpful tool for folks to see what kind of risk factors they have where they live. Vital data, once only accessible to insurance and mortgage companies, now at your fingertips. Find the link to the nonprofit in charge of this project and the address finder to see how your house stacks up. Just go to this story at 12news.com. Joe Dana, 12 News. Joe, thank you.